Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so um, I'm seeing that there's a cycle coming to an end. There's a masculine here who is looking back every day on someone from their past and I feel like that's you this is divine feminine energy coming out okay that's what this card is um, so I feel like I'm talking to divine feminines out here you're in your confidence uh, you're confident you're independent right cats are very independent so you know I'm feeling this empress energy off of you um, knowing your worth and value, okay, and knowing you deserve better than to be in stagnancy while there's a masculine energy that's clearly with a karmic here. Um, I feel like this is something that's very toxic. They, they got themselves stuck in another toxic loop, but the karmic is very pleased about this, okay? She's happy. She sees you moving on, okay? She sees this person stuck, all right? Um, yeah, and they're sad about it. This masculine is really sad. They know they missed out on a soulmate connection. They're still pining for you here. All these two do is fight about you, okay? That's all they do is fight. And look at this karmic is very smug. She's very pleased that you're moving on. I feel like you're separating from this and closing out a cycle. This masculine's goose is cooked. Um, they're stuck with this karmic, starting a karmic cycle all over again, still in regret for losing you, okay? You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Masculine. All right, what else can you show me here? But you're clearly ending a cycle. Yeah, you're out here happy being single, okay, Divine Feminine. I feel like um, you're sitting in the sun, so um, you're also, you could be in the public eye here. There's a lot of exposure here, um, and I feel like the karmic keeps watching you, and she knows that you're moving on. But you're right now, you're focused on your finances. You're focused on your craft, whatever it is that you're growing, your abundance, um, I feel like you're, you're right now spinning um, gold is what you're doing. You could be a Leo. And I, I'm getting the sense that you're in the public eye somehow. You could be some kind of performer. I don't know why I'm getting that. And your person, they are so stuck and trapped. This is where this karmic is keeping them. Okay. Like, they, they feel like they can't get out of this. Why do they feel this way? Clarify the hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces. And you're out here free. Free and independent and working on your money. I feel like, um, I feel like that's what you do every day. You get up maybe at the crack of dawn and you start working on your business. And it's becoming a huge success here with you spinning gold. Okay, yeah, look, uh, they're stuck and trapped in their mind. And they're, in, they're stuck and trapped with the karmic. All they can do, all this masculine can do is think about you, wishing they could grow old together with you, collective. Okay, that's all that they can think about. You know, I don't know how long all of us can handle this energy. It's been going on for too long, okay? Yeah, this is coming out in reverse, they're wishing they would have never treated you the way they did. They wish it, they're, they're wishing that they would have made a different choice altogether. They know they turn their back on this soulmate connection. And honestly, I feel like the karmic won't let them forget about it either. Uh, because she fights with this person every day. It's almost like they're there being tortured. Yes. They're there being tortured. All this masculine wants to do is choose a new path, and they're getting the messages, right? Look at, they're, they feel like they're tied. They feel like they're tied to this karmic, can't get free, and the other choice that they actually want, the one from their past here, this is you, um, they feel kind of stuck to you too at the same time. Like they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop... 
um, getting these memories about you. They can't stop dreaming about you. They just, they're stuck in their head. See the little bird that this masculine is holding in their hand? Um, this is the divine whispering in their ear, giving them the messages. Get out of that karmic situation, but they remain tethered to it, okay? They feel very stuck, like they can't break free from the thoughts of you and from this karmic. And they think about you all day long. And they fight with this karmic about you all day long. I, I just get the sense this karmic just really wants to hold on to your person because they want to win at all costs. Well, what exactly are they winning here? You know, they're, they're, they're keeping this masculine um, in this situation knowing that this masculine wants you. Okay? This masculine doesn't even love this karmic. Um, magician energy. What is this all about? And I feel like this wand is pointed directly at you. I feel like um, I feel like this is the you know the karmic could have sent you some bad energy, especially with this Knight of Swords. Um, what is this? Do you have, there could have been moon magic or, or this karmic is having someone else watch you. Okay, look at this. I, I feel like they could have even like hired somebody to keep track of you. They could have um, hired some kind of pri private investigator um, that could be watching you from their car in the middle of the night, staking out your house. Otherwise, I can see this as possibly some spell work done, some moon magic, trying to affect your your happiness, your stability, was so that, you know, people are still sending you attacks. This karmic has this masculine, like, right where they want them, and they're still sending you attacks. You don't have anything to do with them. You're minding your own business here. The star in reverse... I feel like the, whoever this karmic is, they want to ruin whatever you've got going on, okay? You're on um, some kind of glow up here, and they want to they try to ruin it for you. Or, like I said, there could be some kind of private investigator watching you in, in secret. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. No, I feel like there's been some spell work done on you. I'm also getting the sense that your person, they know about it, and they're not doing anything about it. They could be very fearful of this karmic. So the karmic now, in, in, in revenge, right? This is an act of revenge. The karmic is hanging on to your person, yes. They've got this person, you know, right there with them. But they're still attacking you, okay? They want to bring you down. This karmic literally hates you. I feel like you're the star and they want to get you in reverse. They may be casting some kind of spells to make you lose your creativity or make you question yourself or make you feel fearful or stressed out. They want power over you or they want what you can do, okay? They want to try to maybe steal your energy. They're definitely sending you some kind of spiritual um, spell work or attacks, okay? Yeah. I feel like you just keep moving forward. I'm getting this um, warrior energy off of you here, okay? I feel like they want you to lose your gifts. I feel like this person wants you to lose your gifts. They want you to lose everything. Okay? And they may want to, tr like, take what you've got here and, and replace it in them. Okay? So I feel like they want your gifts. Yeah, I feel like they want your gifts collective. That's what they're trying to do. And they're trying to get you all up in your head, no confidence, 
questioning your abilities, Queen of Swords energy, this is all being done out of revenge. Okay, this Queen of Swords, I feel like this masculine has betrayed her because he's in love with you instead. She feels very betrayed. Um, and I feel like she's doing all of this to revenge, for, as revenge. She wants to take whatever you've got. Okay, you, this, um, this karma could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've also got Pisces out here, Scorpio. I feel like your person knows about it. They know about the kind of spell work that this, this karmic is doing. And it's all directed towards you, but I feel like you're stronger than this karmic is. You're the true warrior. This is the warrior in the deck, the queen of wands. Okay, this is somebody who's, you've already been put through it. You've already had your reputation dragged through the dirt. Okay, um, you've already had um, possibly a whole community or a group of people going up against you. You know, uh, people have done their worst already. And you know what? You're still um, taking, your, taking control of your own power, taking your power back. You're like, this is, this is mine. My abilities are mine. You can't touch this, right? I don't think they're going to, I don't think they can affect you. You're still out here happy, um, still um, weaving um, or spinning gold here in control. Yeah, I feel like, you know what? This karmic doesn't realize you're their karma. You are their karma. She doesn't realize that. She's about to. She's about to realize that. If she's going to be put in, in spiritual prison or worse. She could even be put in jail for something. I don't know. But this is either spiritual prison or real prison. You're this person's karma. She's going to feel like a complete and utter fool. Because I feel like this, th your destiny belongs to you. Your abilities belong to you. Uh, this masculine's heart belongs to you. And um, I feel like she's going to be stopped. Whatever she's doing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it so that if this isn't real jail and it's spiritual prison, she's not going to be able to move or do anything. Anything that she tries or attempts um, is going to fail. Okay? Everything is going to fail. And she, I feel like she's done a lot already as far as, as spiritual work, um, you know, um, spell work. But uh, she's not watching where she's going. Okay? She doesn't seem to realize. As she's laughing about all of this, she doesn't seem to realize that um, you're her karma. You are her karma. And this masculine, I'm telling you, I feel like they're, they are, look, all they can think about is apologizing to you while they stand here feeling stuck and their whole future is like set ablaze, okay? <laughs> Basically, there's a tower moment in the background for this person. They just don't see it yet. All they can think about is getting back together with you and getting out of that situation, I feel like they will. They will free themselves from this. Um, the karmic is going to end up getting stuck and facing her karma. All of this spell work is going to be returned to her. And she won't be able to budge. She's going to end up losing whatever kind of competition that was started here. Okay? For messing with you. She's gone and messed with the wrong person. Okay? Okay? Man, she's gonna she's about to be shocked here, you guys. Let me get a different deck. And I feel like this masculine energy, they will eventually get unstuck from this situation and come forward and give you an apology. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, heavy on Leo. Yeah. And she's gonna feel like a fool. And he's going to feel like a fool. 
Oh man, they're both going to be just stuck and trapped here. I feel like their life is a, their life and their future is going to be kind of burnt to a crisp, okay? It is. I want to say they're getting burned by messing with you is what is what I'm really seeing here. Yeah, and you're leaving. You're leaving in peace, serenity. Um, you're very calm. You're, you're healing here. And you're going to calmer waters. So you're, uh, you're basically delivering their karma and then leaving the scene to go start a new life. Okay? And heading straight into your Ten of Cups. Yeah. All right. So what else can you show me? We've got two fools, fool cards out here, one for each of them. Yeah. All of that, look, all of the bad spell work, all of the energy that's being sent to, the, to you is going right back on them. I'm telling you, it's going right back on them. They want to see you in the Ten of Swords down for good. Okay, I feel like these people wanted to take you out. Some of them have been doing death spells, these karmics, okay? But every, every bit of what they're sending you is going back on them, okay? Because you're delivering karma. And meanwhile, you look, your life looks like a total celebration here. Yeah, because you're just too strong for these people. They can't break through your barrier. Um, they can't. They can't stop what you do. They can't take your abilities away. They can't stop your progress. You're way too strong for whatever spell work this is. And you get a new beginning. You get blessed. You get a new opportunity. You get a time of celebration in your life. The Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and all these people get is like a spiritual prison, a mental prison, and every bit of what they're sending you back on them. I kid you not. So keep doing what you're doing, Collective, because it's, you know, I feel like you've got your boundaries up. Um, yeah, you've got a new life here that you're starting. You're doing your inner work. You could be um, doing things like burning your sage, right? Saying your prayers, right? Asking, um, asking the divine to protect you from any bad juju being sent your way. Yeah, you've got a whole new life. And I feel like part of the reason why you're so protected is because you're enthusiastic for your new beginning. You know, you, you, you're keeping your vibes high. Right? Yeah, this is you going to calmer waters. Yep, you're leaving all of this behind. They cannot stop your progress. And as you enter into your new life here, you're wearing that crown. I feel like this karmic is trying to strip you of your crown and put it on their head. And it's not going to work. They can't have your crown. They can't have your crown, collective. Divine feminine energy. I feel like some of you may even feel them uh, that draining energy, right? That's that spell work. If any kind of item, you know what I'm getting? Was there an item or something that was delivered to your home? Or you could have some kind of item that was given to you um, from this masculine, something like that. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I feel like it's a cursed item. And it could be making you feel very drained, okay? But you've been flexible enough with the situation. You've been patient. You haven't been in anybody's business. You've been focused on you and your abundance and your stability. And now you're moving on. That's it. You're done. It's the end to a cycle here with a 10. And as you leave behind, I'm telling you, you are the, these people's karma, um, and they're getting their karma. They're not going to, after this, they're not going to be able to send you any more bad juju. I'm telling you, they're in spiritual prison. Yeah, and, and the divine is making sure of it. The divine is stopping these people for you. 
or who whatever karmic this is and so yeah to give you safe passage forward i feel like it's time to go all right it's time to maybe even um you could be making a house move a location change i've been picking up on that like almost every reading um, but you're starting something new for sure clearing out the energy is what i'm seeing i need you to get you guys to burn your sage your incense, your Palo Santo, okay? Um, uh, take your spiritual baths, all right? Cleanse yourself of this energy, meditate, right? Raise those vibrations, okay? And listen to your intuition. I feel like all of this you should do for your own safety and well-being, right? Clear that energy out. Uh, do a home cleansing too. I'm seeing an open, uh, this is like an open window. Um, open all your windows in your home. Do a home cleansing. And I feel like after you clear this negative energy, um, I feel like you're moving forward very quickly into a time of great celebration here and wish fulfillment. So just listen to the messages that the divine is giving you. If they're trying to lead you to a new location, or it could even be something like a vacation, okay? Um, or just some a break, right? Getting some rest and clearing your head, okay? Just do whatever they're leading you to do. Whatever you're being guided to do, do it. Don't question it, okay?